My name is Bill Neuhauser. Uh, I'm a registered engineer up in Minnesota, North Dakota. Um, I've been in the reseller side here since the um, oh, early 2000s, so a lot of years. Uh, I've been using Civil 3D since it came out and Land Desktop since it came out and DCA since it came out, so going way back when. But uh, uh, as far as the Enovi side of life here, um, as most of you probably know, just the last month here, Autodesk has finally opened up and made it available to to everybody uh, within the Autodesk realm. Uh, Innovise itself has been around for, for a couple of decades uh, from what I've know. And I know a lot of firms have been using it for a long time. Uh, it's just that uh, Autodesk bought the company out, I guess last year, February or so. It's taken about a year before they finally got everything kind of lined up to let everybody else have access to it. And um, so if, if you got questions on that part of it, I know since you're all a lot of beginners on this, we all have a lot of questions on exactly what's happening here on the transition over. Uh, you can give our salespeople a call and talk to them on the side to find out what's going on. I know it's a big, huge question mark right now. Is, uh, stuff has been put on hold. Um, licenses have uh, are transitioning over to uh, um, different type of licensing scheme and stuff. I, I, uh, but so anyway, uh, we're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is uh, uh, kind of step number one here, uh, at least on the uh, info drainage side of life. Okay, we all know there's a there's a lot of other pieces of software within Antibias. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is the uh, the info drainage. Uh, to me, I think this is the one that directly affects the civil 3D realm more than anything else does. And so, I myself, I started jumping into this about a month and a half ago just to kind of see what, what's it all about, right? And so uh, my webinar today is gonna be pretty much showing you how to prepare, prep your, your civil 3D drawings, okay? Getting it ready to transition into info drainage uh, and the process there. Um, and some of the things that I've come across, come of the, you know, I don't call them issues, but you know, stumbling blocks, things to keep, be aware of, okay? Uh, and uh, so again, this me, myself and I, and uh, the agenda for today is uh, uh, getting the drawing ready, um, the setup of the drawing, a pipe structure, sizes and locations, and naming and numbering, okay? Uh, catchment areas, automated versus manual, time of concentration test, do they do anything? And I'll explain that when I'm talking about it later here, okay? Uh, what needs to be exported from Civil 3D in Atlantic Smell? And, uh, and what I mean by that is we start getting the background drawing inside of, of info drainage. Um, in what different file formats are we going to need to do that and to share the data in there? And uh, a thing I learned here too is that for some reason, now maybe it's just me, but uh, for some reason I. It won't let me open up just the current Civil 3D drawing, but I found if I do a save as back to 13, it comes in no prompts. Now, I don't know if that's a me problem or not, but that was my current workaround. So I'll show you guys that. Not a big deal, not a, you know. Um, how do we export out our network in Innovise, an IDSX file? And I'll explain that to you uh, more in depth here. Uh, once you're inside info drainage, importing the finished ground surface, XML files, importing the drawing, uh, the catching areas. Uh, and then the, one of my famous little things, you're kind of a final here to show, show you guys what they call the deluge command. Uh, and uh, we'll cover that. And that's about all I'm going to get into it here. I'm not, I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts here. This today is just, just to get you guys started, get you guys into Innovise and start playing around. So let me go ahead and close this. And let me kick out of the sec here. We'll close down that. Okay, now I'm in Civil 3D and I'm in 2022. Now uh, it's this is supposed to work in 2023. I haven't tested it there. And since it was coming down in the wire here and 2023 just came out, I didn't want to mess with my luck. Okay, so I left it in 2022 for right now. Uh, we all know the file formats haven't changed from 22 to 23 in the Civil 3D realm. So it probably shouldn't be a big issue, but again, I, I didn't want to go down that road yet. Okay, what you're seeing here in, in my test drawing here that I made I've got some planet profiles made up here. Um, I've got a, uh, if I zoom in on here, I've got a quarter that I made, okay? And then uh, just for the heck of it, um, 
you know, I wanted to get a finished ground surface just to represent kind of a, like a small subdivision. And so I actually used uh, um, our tools up here, our uh, design suite. I used both the auto grader and the label genie. Okay, and uh, let me show, go into here. I believe, as I thought I had them turned on here. Yeah, you can see here, I've got the lot, I got the labels turned on here. And all these are, if I grip on here, these are just feature lines that was created with the uh, CTC tools. And uh, it's basically just a pad. So we're coming up with 2%, we get a flat, we're dropping down, we drop it down again. And all I'm using this for on mine is to come up with a finished ground surface. And so when I start doing my catchment areas, I'm, I'm using this as kind of an area to something to snap to to draw in my catchment areas, okay? Now, what I had to do to get ready for the transition over, a uh, couple things. First thing I found out is that, now keep in mind, one of the big differences between SSA and infill drainage is that SSA just analyzes your system, okay? To whereas uh, infill drainage will actually design your system for you as far as sizing everything. And so, Old school, we would go through here and try to get our design somewhat done. We try to figure out if we want 12 inch pipe then jump up to a 24 inch, 36. We try to use our engineering knowledge to kind of kind of guess and by golly, try to try to get the system somewhat close, right? Okay, now my system here, what I've got here is I've got a pond that everything's draining into. And so I've got an intersection here with low points. I've got an intersection, let me see here, where did I get here? Uh, right here, I got a little low point. Then I go around the corner, I got a low point here, I got a low point up here, and another low point here, and a low point here. So in other words, I got catch basins in these areas, okay? And it all drains into a bigger pipe and comes into here, okay? Now, if this was SSA days, I would go through here and start trying to size these pipes, trying to get some educated guesses and find out this is probably a 36 inch pipe. You know, I don't know, you know, but I kind of try to get it close. Because with SSA, you design it and run it through it, and you'd come back and tell you that your system failed, you have to start manually bumping up the size and reprocess. Okay, well in here, what I found the best thing to do is set everything, get your catch basin set correctly, okay? Set your manholes all to the same size. So let's say 48 inch, it doesn't really matter. Just set them all the same size. Set all your pipe to say a 12 inch pipe, regardless of what you think it should be, just set it all for 12 inch pipe. And you'll find here on the transition phase, it's, it's a lot easier, it's, it's easier to get it over and then let Innovise do its thing, okay? The other thing here on the prep side is that we all know in Civil 3D, we have the ability to do the catchment areas, okay? And if you go in here and look, let me, uh, if you see these white lines right here, okay? And this right here, this is an actual, this is an actual catchment that I did for the sample here. It's kind of hard to see, but if I grip on it here, you see how it goes down around here. I've got an inlet right here, inlet uh, catch basin 5B. And I made a catchment here and I called it catchment 5B. And I assigned this catchment to that particular inlet. Okay. Now, how did I do that? Well, a couple different ways. If I come into Civil 3D here and I go up here to analyze and under catchments, you see I have a couple of different options here. Catchment area, catchment group, from surface and from object. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the automated method just to show you here that there's some limitations here. So you might want to try this. Okay, if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, you got to do it again. Okay, uh, then you'll you'll do the manual method. So I'm going to come over here. I've got a catch base in here, back behind the text here. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, there's a catch basin right here. So I'm going to go back up here to catchment, and I'm going to do it catchment area, and ask me for pick pick the surface. So I have a finished ground surface that I have made here, which I believe is right here, and take all the defaults. And I'm going to snap right where that catch basin is. Now, when you do that, you notice it drew this line. Okay, if I hit return here, I've got this line here. And what that is, is that's the catchment area that it came up with. Okay, well, that's okay, except for that's not right. Because what we've got here, we've got a typical road, we've got a curb and gutter. Then I go up at a 2% slope and up at like a, you know, a flat area. But bottom line is, my catchment area for this thing really should be going not just this area, but should be going all the way to this area.
as you can see here. Okay, so I don't like that. That's that's not working properly. The other thing is too is that uh, um, now I can either come in here and grip edit this all day long, which obviously I don't want to. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so the other method of doing this is come over to catchments. And what I did here, I drew a pawl line where I thought my catchment should be, very manual. We've all done this a hundred times, right? You, you'll see when I got one over here and I got one over here, okay? And the idea is I'm trying to find out the drainage area that's coming into this particular catch basin and to this particular catch basin. So obviously you do all this throughout your whole project here and get these all done, okay? And so all these are just closed pawl line, nothing special. So what I'm gonna do here, Go back over to catchment and I'm going to catch it from object. Pick on that Paul line. Okay. If you look in the bottom there, uh, it's asking me for the flow path. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape or hit enter and give it a name. And my name is going to be that, what was it, 6E, I think it was. I think 6E. I can change it if, I, if I'm wrong. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here and take everything else that shows me here. It says, where it says reference pipe network structure. Click on this button, and now I'm gonna zoom in on this, grip on it, okay? And that's gonna add it, and it's gonna, it's gonna attach this catchment to the particular inlet. You should see in a minute here how handy that is. And I'm just gonna go click okay, okay? Now I'm gonna repeat this again for this one. Okay, again, hit escape, come up, and this is now, uh, I think it was, oh, where did that? 70. Okay, do that again. Escape. 7E. And again, pick on that button, pick on the catch basin, hit return. Okay. Now, what I did there, you notice how to change colors? Okay, these are now official catchments. If you come here, right click on these, go to catchment properties, you can now see all the information about these catchments. Now, there's stuff in here that you can turn around, overwrite. You get a lot of stuff you, you can change, uh, the time concentration method, so forth. Now, a lot of this stuff you'll find that Innovise doesn't use, okay? Uh, so I found just, boom, take the defaults here and be happy, okay? Now, the next thing here, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this drawing, okay? Now, what I wanna get out of here is I wanna get my finished ground surface. You shall see that later in Innovise, it's kind of a nice handy little feature, okay? And so I'm just going to do a DXF out. And I would give it a name here. So let's see here. I've already got one in here, but I will I will do it again here. Um, and I'll call this C2A, just to be safe. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong command, not DXF. Uh, my bad. I'm thinking of a different part here. Okay, what I want to export out is not the DXF, I want the Lanix ML. Okay, so back here to output. I wonder why they didn't show up on the list. Export the Lanix ML. Okay, and so I'm going to toggle everything off and I'm going to turn on just the finished ground surface. Now, you could also export out the EG. Now, I found that I, I want to create two separate files, one for the C2 which is a composite surface and includes everything and the pond and the top surface of the road. But I'd also export out a circle here called EG1. Okay, and all you do is click okay there. And you'll see I already have one done in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel, it. it's already in here. Okay, so I'd repeat that process again for EG1. Okay, then the next thing is, is I'm gonna do a file save as, and I'm gonna change this over to 13. Again, I'm hoping that this will be fixed later, but for right now, I'm finding this is what I have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, I made another drawing here called Webinar 13. And I'm gonna replace it, yes. And give you a little warning saying, hey, you know, you're know, you gonna lose some stuff. Yeah, not a big deal, because all, all I really care about is what I'm gonna see over in Civil 3 or in Invo, Invoice. The, the other thing is too is, get the drawing looking the way you want to see it over in advise before I do that. Because everything I see here is what I'm gonna see over there, okay? Which may or may not be what I want. Now, the other thing is to remember that we are in 13 now. So in reality, what I should do now, if I wanna get back to my original drawing and not mess with that 13, 
is go ahead and go open up the original drawing now. But now I have two copies, right? I've got the 22 version, I've got the 13 version. The 13 version is an intermediate. I'm not gonna do anything in it. It's just there. Okay, so now, now the other thing is too, okay, now, now inside of here, I'm gonna export out into Innovise. So up here in the far right, we now have a new little ribbon here called Info Drainage. And on this, it's really not a whole lot going on here. Um, there's no real tools to do anything Innovise wise inside of Civil 3D. This is mostly just to create their Innovise file. And then in Innovise, I'm gonna try to open it up, okay? So it's right here, we get the import and export buttons here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the export to Info Drainage. Okay, I'm gonna select the file that I wanna to export to, and I'll just call web one. And you notice it's gonna create an IDDX file. Okay, that's important to know. Hit next there, what do I wanna export out? I'm gonna go ahead and export out the storm. Click okay. And now this is the mapping that goes on. This is what it says, okay, and this is why I come back to say, it's nice to keep this stuff all one size. If I had 15 different size pipes here, I would have to go through here and map out all 15 different size pipes, okay? Uh, same with the junction struct uh, mapping. Now, I found a little problem here in the, in the junction mapping, and I'm not sure if this is a civil 3D thing or not, but uh, I have gone out to this drawing and I have swapped all the parts out to a 12 inch pipe and also to 40 inch panels. But you can see here, I still have some stragglers. And for some reason, and I, I don't know if there's some three things going on right now, but I can't get the stuff to swap out. And uh, so uh, without er erasing my whole system and recreating it again, um, this is what I'm finding is happening here. Now, it's not a big deal, but just to let you guys know. Now, what you may have to do is when you do this, is you see where it's the civil 3D part size. Now, this one down here, if you click on this, you'll pick on the size that you think it is. Now, it's a three, it's a 72 inch, which is right here. Okay, uh, otherwise you might have to plug in manually what the sizes are. Okay, since I've done this a few times, it's automatically doing this now. So I got a 24 by 24 inch cast station, you know, so two foot by two foot, two foot by three, two foot by two, three foot three. And these are, since they're circular, it comes up with just in feet. Now, so you'll notice that here they're talking inches, here they are actually talking feet. Okay, so just know. I'm gonna go ahead and say finish. And it's going to go ahead and export that out. Doesn't take too long. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the Innovise icon right here. This is going to run. Wait for it here. Okay, now, at this stage, one thing that you should realize here is what we just created with actually an Innovise file, okay? It's not like something we're going to try to import into Innovise Drainage. It's already a completed file, okay? So it's a little deceiving here. When I did this a few times, I thought, well, I'd create a new design and go do the import. Well, no, actually, I don't. I do the open existing right here. Click on it here. And now I go find that file that I just created, which is this one right here. I go and click open. Wait for it here. And boom, there it comes in. Now, everything that came in here is stuff that I created already. So these are all the catchment areas, okay, that I've manually created. Now, obviously, I'm going to go create these other ones here manually, okay. Uh, but if I come down here, the one thing I found too is that, and I don't know why, but if, if you, if you want to move that, careful, because if I move that, I move the whole thing, okay? It's not like it's uh, independent from the boundary here, okay? Um, now, over here on the left side, and again, we're not going to get into the picks and clicks so much on this, but well, the one thing I wanted to show you, though, is if I, if I grip on one of these catch basins and I come over to inlets, you will notice right here, it's showing me the, the catchment area. Okay, and this is important to note that because if I had created those catchment areas and I had not assigned them to a catchment, 
Then I'd have to come in here and manually assign them. And it's, it's not a real fun process, I'm finding. Uh, you'd have to click on here, right click, and reconnect inflow, and then pick on the right catch basin. Okay. So again, we're not getting too much into picks and clicks in this. Now, other things here that we've exported out. So I'm going to come down here, and you'll see here we've got surface here. So I'm going to right click here and say load. And I'm going to load from Linux and Mel. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in that C2. That's my composite surface. And I'll click OK. Now, what it does is I always say yes to this. I found if I say no, some of the other stuff I want to do, it won't let me do. So I, I go ahead and say yes. Go ahead and retriangulate. It's going to process a little bit. It doesn't take too long. Now, when I say it doesn't take too long, it's a fairly small file. Um, I was practicing on it with a client that had like 3,000 acres. That took a little bit longer. I'll wait for it here. We're all getting patient and we're waiting. There we go. Now I'm just going to say update all. Okay, going to bring it in. If I toggle it, you'll see it come in. There's not much, much to look at there. It's more that it's that it's in here that I can now do some other stuff to it. Okay. Um, the CAD drawing here. I'm going to right click here and say import data, select, and I am going to uh, go to my 13 drawing that I just created and click next. Oh, now it's not liking it. Of course, no, now it doesn't want to like it. Let's try this one. Pretty much the same drawing. That was the year I was getting on the newer release. So I'm curious to see what happened here. Bring it in. Now, this particular drawing, I must have all the boundaries turned off. But you get the idea. OK. Uh, now, let's go back here to the surface here, surface analysis here. OK, if I right click here and the, the deluge command, OK? This, what this does, it throws a whole bunch of water at your whole project at one time here. And it kind of helps you find your, your low spots, places of concern. And not so much you know, in our design area, but uh, on the outskirts of the design area. So if I come in here now and change, turn on depth, nice little heat map, I guess you can say. So I do have a pond out here in the other drawing here. I must resize it a little bit. Okay, but I'm showing these low areas in the back side here. I may, might be concerned with, and at the same time, it's showing me exactly where my low areas are with my road here. So it's kind of a cool little thing. Now, if I come back over here, uh, I can turn on contours, and you'll see the contours pop up too. Okay, turn on the legend here. You get the legend over here showing what those contours mean. You know, and more of the heat map, I should say. But uh, but that's uh, that's what I want to show you guys today. Like I said, it probably won't take me the whole the whole time here and the idea is just kind of get you guys uh, an idea of what's going on uh let me go look over here in the, in the uh chat areas uh someone's asking me here is this going to replace the storm and sanitary analysis uh no one has told us yes or no to that I've, I've heard that question a few times i'd be surprised uh if it would um i doubt it but uh then again i don't want to throw out of this so i, I don't know what their their future is behind it um i'd be really surprised because we all know ssa is free okay and this is not um there is two different price levels uh contact our sales people i know i, I think the prices uh, are different than what they were when they were at Innovise. i think it's gotten down it's cheaper but uh um, i don't know the exact numbers on those uh, but uh the one thing i found here in Innovise over ssa and i'll just kind of glance at it real quick like here is that if you go over here to the all these different types of inflows and stuff, you'll notice it's a little more, how should I say, greener, uh, in that it's got some of these fancier, you know, rooftops, uh, you know, type of areas. If I go down here to controls, you got these different types of storage, you know, chamber storages, like underneath the parking lots, uh, infiltration trenches, dry swales. It, it's going to analyze a lot of different, I'll call them green technology, I guess. Okay. We all know the SSA doesn't, doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. And 
I think the biggest thing on the SSA is more lacking on, on like the pipe or the ponds. You get a real kind of rigid type of a pond system. Uh, this, you can do a lot more fancy dancy stuff, more modern type design can go on here. So, but uh, we'll probably cover that stuff later on in probably another series here. But uh, for the time being here, uh, uh, someone's here is asking if my pipe network is a mix of existing to proposed pipes, well, infra drainage know the difference and not, know not to adjust my existing pipes. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I would, well, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming that there's probably a way to lock pipes in here. Uh, and uh, so by, by locking it, you can keep them from changing. But uh, I'm, I'm sure that's probably been accounted for. But until I dive deeper into myself, I, I can't really answer that fully. But well, anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, shut things down here. Uh, we will make this available. So for those uh, that want to see this again, uh, uh, come, come to our website here. If you'll look here, just a minute. We'll go here. Uh, it will be out here, eventually out here on our YouTube um, in the social area. And uh, other than that, uh, thank you very much for your time. And uh, we will be having more of these coming up here in the future. I know uh, June 15th, we are going to do a, um, a town hall meeting. Uh, I've got two guests coming in from two different uh, consulting firms that have been using the Innovise systems for a couple decades. So we're going to ask them a lot of questions. Okay. And uh, so uh, please uh, tune in for that later on. But uh, thank you very much and uh, appreciate your time. Hey there. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.